Hello everyone! As always, make sure to subscribe and drop a thumbs up. Name your top 3 players of the current season in the comments below. And while you're making your choice, we are getting started! Let's go! Chelsea boss Thomas Tuchel has progressed from each of the 11 semi-final games he had in his career. The total score is 34. Andrea Pirlo might take over Portuguese Braga, according to Abola. Everton striker Richarlison is willing to leave the Telfis amid interest from Manchester United. We want to win La Liga, but it's a very difficult task, Xavi said. Roma are ready to sell their leader Nicolo Zaniolo for 60 million euros. Liverpool, Tottenham and Juventus are interested in the 22-year-old player. Tottenham are considering the return of Brentford midfielder Christian Eriksen. Coutinho has a meeting with the Barca board scheduled for the near future. Aston Villa plan to make a decision on Felipe in May. Lazio are interested in signing PSG goalkeeper Sergio Rico, who is currently playing at Mallorca on loan. Bayer Leverkusen's young star Florian Wirtz may continue his career at Barcelona. The Catalan club already had talks with the 18-year-old midfielder's agent. We just have to pick ourselves up and get the Premier League and the Champions League trophies, Man City star Jack Grealish admitted. Former Burnley coach Sean Dyche is in talks with the club as he demands a £15 million settlement after being sacked. Chelsea are the team with the most minutes in Europe, which is very challenging physically. We will be ready for Liverpool, Thomas Tuchel claimed. Chelsea reached the FA Cup final for the fifth time in six years, with only one victory. 30 hat-tricks under 30 and 30 hat-tricks after. It's time to upset the balance, wrote Cristiano Ronaldo ahead of the clash against Liverpool. At least 15 Premier League footballers failed drugs tests between 2015 and 2020, but none of them were banned. We did everything to make Ten Hag stay here. The new contract, more money. We hope Eric won't leave us, Ajax technical director Gary Hamstra said. Eric Ten Hag obviously has talent, but he's walking into an absolute disaster. Man United is a nightmare. Not one big-name signing since Fergie left has been an unqualified success, Grimy Saunas admitted. Arsenal should sign Ronaldo this summer, I'm deadly serious, Arsenal fan Piers Morgan said. Guardiola condemned Man City fans for disrupting a minute's silence in memory of the victims of the Hillsborough disaster. They don't represent our club, Pep stated. Xavi spoke about the unchucked fans at the Camp Nou. We feel robbed in our own home. The Barca manager said, I spend more time with Son than I do with my wife. We have a great relationship off the pitch as well, Harry Kane admitted. Kylian Mbappe is one of the best in the world. When you give him the ball, you know that he's gonna make the difference, PSG fullback Ashraf Hakimi said. If Ronaldo wasn't at Manchester United, the team would be nowhere near where it is now in the standings. He's amazing. Jan Wright praised Cristiano Ronaldo. Negotiations with Holland are underway. There's a deadline and release clause that everyone knows. The sooner the decision is made, the better. Dortmund sporting director Sebastian Kjell shared. Cristiano Ronaldo is the first player aged 36 or over to score 15 goals in a single Premier League season. Man United boss Ralf Rangnick is dissatisfied with the club's work in defense. Only our team concedes such goals in the Premier League. Norwich could have scored earlier, he said. Bayern's work wouldn't be assessed positively if the club hadn't followed a striker like Holland. But these prices are beyond our imagination, Oliver Kahn admitted. Erling Holland has 58 goals in 63 matches in the Bundesliga, which is a new record. Real Madrid can do transfers only if they will sell players. Paris and Ancelotti discussed this on Friday. Ronaldo is the first player to make 50 hat-tricks in the top five leagues in the 21st century. He has 44 for Real Madrid, 3 for Manchester United and another 3 for Juventus. The match with Man City showed how unlikely it is to get four trophies in one season. Unlikely that Liverpool will win all the remaining games, Jurgen Klopp claimed. Ten Hag will be involved in Manchester United's decision regarding Ronaldo's future at Old Trafford. The Dutch coach will sign a four-year contract this week. 
Red Bull Salzburg will pay around 6 million euros for Shakhtar Donetsk midfielder Fernando, who will replace Karim Ademi at the Austrian club. Vlahovic scored his 50th goal in Serie A at the age of 22, thus being the second youngest foreign player in the history of the competition after Pato, who reached this milestone at 21. Lazio striker Cherry Marbelli has scored at least 25 goals for the third time in Serie A season. Only Nordal and Nayersh did it before. Sunday match day has come to an end. Let's have a look at the results. And now let's talk about the main news of the episode. First, we'll briefly go through yesterday's matches. Starting with the Bundesliga, where Bayern Munich defeated Armenia away, no 3. It all started with Jacob Lorsen's own goal. Then Gnabry and Musiala finished the job. Another golden Munich is just a matter of time. Next up is the English Premier League. West Ham spoiled their dreams for the Champions League spot after the draw against underdog Burnley. 1-1. Newcastle got a very difficult victory against Leicester, 2-1, with Bruno Guimaraes scoring a brace. In the FA Cup final, Liverpool will face Chelsea as the London club beat Crystal Palace, 2-0. Loftus-Cheek and Mount brought Chelsea the tickets to the final. Our congratulations! Moving on to French Liga 1, in which PSG are only one game away from securing the victory in the competition. Yesterday, the Parisians had a victory over Marseille, truly in the champion's manner. 2-1, with Neymar and Mbappe on a scoreboard. Kylian, by the way, was a part of a funny story at the end of the game as Pochettino decided to substitute the French star in the 91st minute. But Mbappe was just wasting time trying to leave the pitch. For this, he of course received a well-deserved yellow card. Well, this is far from a champion's behavior, Kylian. And finally, La Liga. It seems that we can start congratulating Real Madrid with a La Liga crown. Sevilla were 2-0 ahead against Real Madrid with Rakitic and Lamela scoring goals, but the flow changed in the second half. Firstly Rodrigo, then Nacho and Karim Benzema turned the game around with a comeback in a brilliant manner. After the game, they celebrated as if they had already won La Liga. An amazing and super important victory. Congratulations to the winner! Barcelona prospect Gavi has become a target for Bayern Munich, according to Mundo Deportivo. As the source reports, the Germans are monitoring the situation around Gavi's new contract with Barcelona, because the management of the Catalan club currently cannot convince the 17-year-old Spaniard to extend the deal with the Blaugranas. Juventus star Paulo Dybala could sign for Manchester United in the summer transfer window. Man United's representatives have had a meeting with a 28-year-old player's agent. Earlier, it was reported that Arsenal, Newcastle, PSG and Atletico are interested in the Argentine striker. Recall that Juventus officially confirmed that Dybala will leave Turin in the summer as his contract expires. Barcelona's board has been criticized by the club's fans as PB Nostra and Senia, one of the Blaugrana supporter groups, reacted angrily to numerous unchecked fans at Camp Nou during Thursday's Europa League game. They pointed out that all that happened that night was the greatest humiliation they have ever seen. It was reported that the match was attended by over 20,000 Frankfurt fans. In this regard, PB Nostra and Senia wants to organize a protest rally before the match between Barcelona and Cadiz on April 18th in order to show the management the group's dissatisfaction with the current situation and the fact that the physical integrity of the fans has been threatened. Marca has found out about Barcelona's upcoming transfer targets. The list of the Catalan club includes three players – Rafael Liao, Darwin Nunez and Gabriel Jesus. Liao from Milan is the main candidate for signing for Barca president Joan Laporta. But the Italian club wants to extend the contract of the player whose transfer price is around 50 million euros. The source indicates that the Catalans have been following Benfica striker Nunez for a long time. But his transfer fee could reach a fantastic for the Catalans 100 million euros. In turn, Gabi Jesus' move to Barcelona is quite possible in case Man City signs Erling Haaland. A decision on Robert Lewandowski's future and his possible signing for Barca will soon become clear as the Paul strikers' representatives will meet with Bayern directors in the coming days. They will discuss if the player agrees to extend the contract with the Munich club, for which he has been playing since 2014. 
If the player refuses the final offer, then Barcelona will offer Lewandowski a three-year deal, which is exactly what Robert wanted. Friends, our Bamasita project has released a tactical breakdown video of Karim Benzema, including reasons why he has become one of the best footballers in the world over the past two years. There is definitely something to see for yourself. Have a great time watching! That's all we have for today. It was Football Nice. Have a nice one and see you in a bit.